After not only establishing your team mascot, but gathering up enough resources and supplies to perform what is called, in the biz, as a training session, you and your squad carried together a bunch of dilapidated old bats out through the dilapidated old village towards a dilapidated old training ground. The sun sort of hangs low in the sky. Your journey and, honestly, uh, subsequent encounter in Famine Valley has more or less drained the clock, and it seems like you're going to be doing this late into the night. Thog travels forward with the bag thrown over his shoulder like, Okay, guys, should just be a little further. Our own little castle baseball. You keep saying that. What does that mean? I don't see a castle. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Can I uncover my eyes yet? Yeah. Yeah, man. It's fine. We, we, I... We've actually got a distance to walk still. Oh, well, no, then I'll keep him covered. Just say say something if I'm going to trip over anything. Wow. Is this the field? No, this is not the field. This is this is the ditch outside the field. Ooh. Where oh, I thought this the, was going to uh, be yes. one of those things where we have to envision the diamond and then we have to build no, it and then they will come. I'm still going to make you do that. It's just literally a walk to that location. Oh. This is the field that if people wrong us, we will... Uh, um, Wait a minute. There's no real... Nice way to pivot this. If uh, if if it does come down to blows and we need a place to bury people, right. uh, it's oh, out here. Oh, okay. See, oh, I, yeah, thought it, I thought field. it was a sand trap, but I guess I was mistaken. <laughs> a dugout. I guess that is a grave, isn't it? Is that what a dugout is? <laughs> Freya thinks to himself. No, that's a type of canoe. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, welcome to uh, beautiful and scenic Alaron. It is actually uh, mostly like this. Wow. Yeah. This is worse than I expected. I'm from Free Arc, so. And I expected pretty bad. You do have cacti, though. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I, yeah, I love the cacti. Oh, that's lovely. several more plants than I have. I will admit it is preferable to the frozen north, and the cacti are nice. Um, hey, you don't get to talk trash about the frozen north, buddy. Your town sucks. I'm going to talk trash about the frozen north because my town is so, my town's only overrun, overrun by by bandits, not horrible blood drinking <laughs> monsters. What's the difference? Oh, are we starting the trash talk phase? <laughs> yeah, this is an important part. Lesson number one: before the game, if you're not trash talking your opponent, what are you doing? Your grandmother almost shot us. <laughs> that. That, that's true. That for, is a fact. It was yeah, pretty cool. That's, yeah. yeah, that's a registration of fact. <laughs> How did that make you feel, Gregor? Did it upset you? Uh, well, it would have been worse if she did shoot us, so I think I'm okay. No, you you need to get mad. You need to get upset. <laughs> the game's all about the game's all about barely contained toxicity. You're supposed to take the anger that you feel out in your every day and channel it into the sport. Ooh, that <laughs> cactus you like so much is asymmetrical. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Damn, damn that. Yeah, that actually kind of hurts. Go for appearance. Come <laughs> on, at least attack the character. He's yeah. prickly. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Listen, listen. All I'm saying is, if you can get in some good trash talking, you can change the enemy team's strategy because they'll be so focused. All they'll be thinking about, right, Gregor, is that guy. He talks shit about my cactus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end his fucking life. Um. <laughs> And then, and then when you're out in, you know, the outfield and he, he comes at you, then you're, then you're prepared. Think about it almost like a taunt <laughs> because like, you, you know, it's like classic baseball stuff. Some people are just built to get into brawls a little bit better than others. Right. And, uh, they fulfill the very crucial baseball class of tank. Oh, marvelous. Oh, this would be, you know, you know, the more I'm hearing about baseball, the more I'm realizing it's gotta be just like rugby. It has to be. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling a lot better about this. So, so is the outfield just like all brawling, or it can't? So it's only brawling while the ball's in the air and nobody's looking. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got basically like while the ball's flying, you get this tiny window where everybody's just staring at that thing. You have to move really it's fast. Time to go to fucking town. Yeah. Okay. That's why they say you keep your eyes on the ball. Exactly. It's it's a, it's a misdirect. It's they want you trick. to keep their eyes on the ball while you beat the crap out of the people around you. And tripping is prohibited, encouraged. Don't oh, get caught. No drugs. We love it. Just don't get caught. Yeah, don't That's get caught. That's my single brawl move is tripping someone. Let's get, we'll get you some other brawl moves. We'll get okay. you some other brawl moves, Brawl okay? is known for tripping, to be fair. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll figure it's some things out. Actually, you know what? 
while we're here, I am going to reach down, grab a couple fistfuls of sand, and pop them in my pockets. Pocket, pocket sand. sand. Nice. Oh, pocket sand. Yeah. Oh. No, now that is the spirit. <laughs> everybody, everybody gets some. That's what Dirty D Lo Brown used to use to get his all of his home runs. <laughs> you know, if you'd like, I can actually grab handfuls of this sand and then superheat it to make glass shurikens, if that tickles anyone's fancy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> why why stop at shurikens? Just use glass shards and throw it in people's eyes like pocket oh, sand. Oh, I don't know if I feel comfortable <laughs> about wow. attacking someone's eyes. Okay, then give me the shurikens and then I'll crush them. I've made seven. <laughs> You arrive at a large warehouse that appears to be the most intact building in all of Famine Valley. The building's roof, first of all, has not caved in in any capacity, and there even seems to be a a tiny little outhouse off to the side. Hmm. It is approaching nice. Yeah, It's approaching habitable. (laughs) It'll do the job, Thug. Makes his way forward. He's like, okay, so this is uh, this is our HQ for now until we earn enough money to get a place that is less bad. He creaks the door open and it barely remains on its hinges. Does it have a name? Does it have a name already? Do we need to d- decide on one? It's better than the bar. Yeah, it has better seating. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I want everybody out here observing because uh, guess what? Uh, you're going to be practicing your hitting right out there. I even set up, I set up the, uh, the baseball sack and, uh, yeah, it's not a good field. Uh, but no. at the, uh, it's, it's going to be a very simple, simple objective. Uh, we all line up. Wait, where's the ball sack? The ball sack is right outside. See oh, it? It's okay, right I outside this it. window. Just lean yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah no, I, I see it. I see it. It's right there. Okay. <laughs> it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> see the goal, the goal behind this is you're going to try to hit the ball and not hit it into the house and fly it through mm. a window and brain any of us. So, so it's like high stakes. Wait, so you're just trying to hit the sack? No, you're going to stand on the that sack. that what we're trying to do to the other team? Yes, but I'm on your team. I plan and on hitting the other the team, team in their uh, side. So the, the cacti represent the enemy team? The cacti, if that, help, if that helps you, yeah. And it does, like, it, it really does. Yeah, mostly I'm just going to want to... Okay, let's get set up <laughs> first, and then I'll, I'll run you through what's happening Certainly. out there. Um, I don't think I'm participating in this. I'm... You are going to be uh, one of the people that, like, uh, does stuff from the stands for us, which You're is... You're going to be the guy that sits in the dugout with a pencil and writes things. Ooh. Just like Dusty oh. Malone. Oh, <laughs> he will be marvelous at that. Does that position have a name? I... Yes, I, 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 what types of things do I write? It doesn't matter. The, the trick is you draw people's attention. You get them thinking, man. What is that guy writing? What, what are they writing? up to? What are they up to? How do you draw? You could start a novel. It doesn't matter. But maybe sometimes give a little nod or something and make sure that you look up to the field, kind of squint at something, and then look back down and write some more. It's all in the. Oh, if you had yeah. glasses, it would be a great time to adjust them. I can already tell that's going to distract me. I have, a, I have a pair you can use. They don't have lenses in them. <laughs> he sits down. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, snacks. Yeah, this place no, is I, huge. Ooh. Oh, huh. It looks like uh, snacks have already been distributed throughout the building. One pretzel. It's pretty big, though. Yeah, a large pretzel. It's a big what? pretzel. Yeah, it might be too much for hmm. me. Who put the snacks here? I don't, I don't, I don't know. How long has Wait, this pretzel huh. been here? Can I pick up the pretzel and see if there's dust around it? The pretzel it? seems new. Fresh the bananas don't seem to be rotting, so they I think it must be now. This is no. not what I expected from a place called Famine Valley. Yeah, but, no, there's a lot of food. Okay. Where did you guys import bananas from? Yeah, be careful about this stuff. It's kind of <laughs> suspicious that this is here and waiting for us. I mean, I'm more nice than happy to reheat it. The banana? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Reheat this banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> Can I just cut this open and see what's inside? You easily and effortlessly slice open the banana. <laughs> Taking it for even a moment, you pass it backwards to Mercy, who mm. uh, does indeed begin to heat it. And Freya watches as he's like, ah, everyone, stand back, cover your eyes, Mercy, you're fine. Um, you all pull away and uh, watch as the banana starts to emit an almost acrid vapor. See, mm. that is slightly different than normal evaporated banana. I can tell. Wait, so... is. Is this a poison gas banana? It's, I don't, I think we've converted it into a poison <laughs> gas banana, but I think originally it was just a normal poisoned banana. Potassium gas is used as a weapon of war. 
<laughs> well, it shouldn't. But we okay. I'm throwing open a window. Toss that banana yeah, outside. Yeah. Wait, no. I'm holding on to the peel, though. In fact, I'm handing on. To, I'm, ha- I'm hanging on to all of the peels. <laughs> Do not drop them, for the love of God. I no, no, no. I'm gonna deploy. Boy, them tactically. <laughs> you have to inform us where you do that. You understand that, correct? You no, know, you know that I will, of course. But I, look, it's, it's an important item in the toolbox. Tripping is the cousin of slipping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Marcus. Add, add, just remember for me uh-uh. that you have a bunch of poisoned banana peels. <laughs> okay, okay, so I'm just going to start throwing this shit outside. It it appears that it has already started. Uh, this is the baseball treachery. Oh, so what should I do with this granana? Yeah. Should I just, like, throw it out? I mean, I'm going to put it outside. If you want to take any of these to use as deployable weapons, yeah, feel free. Mm, I don't know what the fuse is on this, and I don't like how long I've been holding it. Hmm. Hmm. As long as you, as long as you hold the tip, it will be okay. But like, which side is that now? I've I've been I was spinning it in my hand like a fushigi ball, like a microwave. The <laughs> the one that, the one that attaches to the tree. Well, right, but it's just the banana. There's no peel. Marcus has them. I just have the raw nana. Oh, oh, oh no, you're cooked. No, it is. Well, Much fine, like that granana. There we go. <laughs> Whoa. Dibs on the threatzel. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of a fucking That's pretzel so bun, funny. And you nailed it. Holy shit. <laughs> that is phenomenal. Okay. 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 So, uh, hold on. I'm going to look into... Give me a sec. He rushes outside and clearly starts to look around for anyone that might have deployed this awful fucking yeah, who food. Have, who could have possibly left this here? Is, was there anybody who knew we were going to practice here? Freya turns around and is like, if this is some sort of a summoning ritual, it would not be unusual to expect that they have scryers or some other equivalent keeping an uh-huh. eye on us or somebody watched us from hmm. the docks onwards or your grandma's a mole motherfuckers oh. well we don't even know what teams we're up against and they're already deploying poison I- food against us ridiculous well if there if there are any scryers i just make rude gestures all around the room at length oh 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 uh optimal scrying angle actually uh this mm-hmm. this corner right here Great. I'm, I make so many different rude gestures. All of the ones I <laughs> on some. I make up a few. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wonderful. I didn't expect the baseball treachery to begin so soon. It is strange. <laughs> I feel it's, bad that we didn't do any treachery for them. Yeah. Yes, mostly because we don't know who we're up against. Exactly, yeah. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to write down while looking suspiciously around. I am going to look for anything out of the the usual, and if I even anticipate the faintest hint of baseball intrigue, I will report it to you all. Ooh, all right. That- and then we we can intrigue them first. Yes, I'm officially on oh. noticing duty right now. You can you can even write it down on your piece of paper. Oh, you're so right. How about that? <laughs> it scribbles poisoned. Food? Okay, entry number one complete. The door flings back up, and yeah, there's nothing out there. Like, no indication. I don't know how they got in. It must have been on foot, which means, uh, genuinely, whoever it is can't be too far. Uh, which, uh, okay. Should we hunt them down? Should we bury them in the dugout? We can theoretically bury them in the dugout. Okay, uh, let's... We need to get to training fast, because okay. yeah. there is... There is the possibility that they just, like, hired some, like, goons to harass us so that we oh. don't get any uh-huh. training time in. So, like, we gotta move, and, like, if Fuck. if we get jumped during training time, we'll just turn it into a helpful yeah. training exercise. Yeah, that's, that's just better idea. training. That's a great exactly. point, actually. Is, is Faria safe inside, then? Should he be outside uh, with us? Like, well, I, I think Faria needs noticing practice, so he'll be out there yes. with us. Okay. We could I'll, also just stick outside. him in one of these trap doors. <laughs> Freya like moves his way over in this direction. He's like, I will be outside behind whoever's batting because the odds of mm. it going behind the batter are really low. Right, Unless right? they miss. Do we have a helmet? Okay, I will for be Faria? off and to the like right or left. Okay. Probably under the batter mm. is the safest spot. <laughs> <laughs> Freya places himself. Up against the wall here, 
and okay. sort of scrungles into the bushes, peak noticing position. <laughs> can I um? Can I grab one of these chairs and actually drag it outside and set it in front of him so we can look through the like the slats in the back? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for doing that for him. I know this is. He may not show it, but I know he's very excited about the opportunity. He's <laughs> eagerly peeking his head up over the side of the chair and scribbling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Man, you're a natural so, at that. We gotta decide who's going up first, and everybody else, I want you inside sitting at the chairs in there. Why? Uh, it's 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 all about the risk. It's all about the danger. Oh, okay. I see. Because, it's like... Probably, I guess it's also, like, sideline practice, right? It's Yeah, and, like, you gotta get ready to catch the ball, theoretically, oh. if it flies into the house, because the goal here is gonna be to not hit the ball into the house. <laughs> Through any of those appealing opened windows. <laughs> so, am I crazy? Wouldn't it okay. be better to try and swing into the actual field? Oh, oh, yeah. No, like, if we're going for, like, distance and stuff, but, uh... Mm -hmm. <sighs> like, a lot of the stadiums that we're going to be playing in, they're kind of... They're kind of weird. Interesting. <gasps> like... I, I know I know there's an assumption of what a baseball diamond like must look like, but like some of them have like eight plates and they go in a straight line. Some of them are over gaps of lava. No, you gotta Close. get used to weird. Yeah, the thing about diamonds is they only need four sides. It doesn't have to be any particular. Yeah, no, if the, it doesn't matter if there's more. You just need a minimum of four. Yeah, like if we get jumped by the sky brood, we're in a lot of trouble because I hear their <laughs> arena flies. Mm. That's cheap. Oh. I'll bring it down. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna start pitching. Uh, Gregor, you're up first. Yeah, yeah, I want to try. And okay, okay. You're gonna you're gonna hit the ball. You got okay. this, Gregor. So okay, your goal's how? pretty simple. You're gonna you're gonna take. Hold on, you're gonna take this bat. He hands you a bat. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna want to drop the glave. Yeah, yeah you're gonna want to drop the glaive. You're, you're gonna want to drop drop the glaive. Drop the glaive. Yeah. There you go. I'll, Would you? I'll do you want me to hold it? Put the glaive on my back. Okay. Okay. In yeah, case I bad. decide to use it. <laughs> okay, I, Gregor. Also, honestly, if we manage to if we manage to win some games and earn some money, we can get the glaive cleared as a proper piece of baseball equipment, and you could just start using that thing. <gasps> yeah, we just gotta we gotta work our way up. I I have a bizarre idea, Gregor. You're yeah. far more comfortable with the combat style with the glaive, correct? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, well, it's my favorite. Let me try something. Uh, she uh -huh. takes the bat and, like, snaps the base off of a broom and then, like, nails them together. There. Now, essentially, a glaive. Oh, oh, that's long basically bat. a glaive made long out of wood. Bat. <laughs> long so bat. now, if you want, you could stand, like, literally five feet away from the base. And actually, it could be beneficial because depending on where the base is, you're already uh -huh. a couple of steps closer. <laughs> this, this is good for range. So how far away are you, Thog? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk back. I'm I'm oh, pretty wait. far. You're not trying yeah, to hit that's me. Out of my yeah, oh, you're not okay, trying to hit okay. me. You're trying to hit the ball that I'm gonna <laughs> throw at you. Okay, I'm gonna throw okay. a ball at you, and then when the ball flies at you, you're gonna try to hit it with your bat, but not into the house. Anywhere else, house. And you're good. Not, not into, into the those house. appealing open windows. Not into those appealing open It'll windows. Okay, you, you get my it. Friend, we'll catch it. Inside. <laughs> Duck, my love. Uh, <laughs> he's like <laughs> way ahead of you. Scribble, scribble, scribble. <laughs> Um, okay, Gregor, there's only two pitches in all of baseball. There's fastballs and there's curveballs. There's nothing else. <laughs> nothing? No, no, nobody's ever seen anything else. Huh. Another Squints. type of pitch that's literally unheard of. <laughs> <laughs> Not even like a sales pitch or anything? Just that's it? Just the that's, one? A sales pitch is a type of fastball. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm just going to throw the ball at you. Fast, Gregor. That's why it's called the fastball. Okay, that makes sense. I'm following. Okay, here it comes. He overarms, and you see something catch in his shoulder, and he lets out a light grimace as the ball streaks through the sky, flying directly towards your location. Gregor, full force, your bat connects with the ball, and you drive it backwards. Gregor, you slam the ball, and Marcus and Harlock, you have a split second as your no. stomach drops out from under you as it seems to be streaking straight towards the open window but the ball instead takes a rapid turn towards the right flying spinning off into the distance out and over thog as he roars in celebration hell yeah that's what i'm talking about marvelous i hit it 
Oh, but I didn't hit you. No, you're not. You're not trying to. I'm standing and clapping. Oh, not unless he's on the other team. Right now, you're just trying to send the ball out and over somewhere into the distance. We're not even working on putting it in place. We're just working on hitting the ball, and you did great. That's that was fantastic, Gregor. Wow. I'm gonna be honest. That was that was some Steve money moves. Money moves. That that was a money move. Oh, thanks. I, I've been reading the baseball books, so <laughs> I, I I understand baseball now. Yeah. So what do I do now? Uh, for now, you're Run. good. You're good. Run, you hit Gregor. the ball. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't, okay, there he goes. <laughs>